So in this video, I'm going to explain the different parts of a chromosome. But specifically, we're going to talk a lot about heterochromatin and euchromatin. So to begin with, it's important to understand that not all parts of the chromosome, not all regions of the whole DNA, contains very useful information. And so what this means is some parts of the chromosome are a lot more important than other parts. And so that brings us to heterochromatin. So heterochromatin generally is DNA that's not very important and it's not very active. Therefore, heterochromatin is just a region of DNA that is relatively inactive and so it's going to be compact during interphase. And remember, interphase is where the cell spends most of, most of its life. Because the region of DNA is very compact, this doesn't allow for the genes in that region to be transcribed very easily. And then one last thing to mention about heterochromatin is that it has a lot of repeat sequences of DNA called satellite DNA. And so pretty much heterochromatin has very few genes. Now on the other hand, euchromatin is generally more important DNA. And so euchromatin is a region of the chromosome that is condensed only during mitosis or meiosis. And so in interphase, it contains many genes that are being actively transcribed. And so this makes sense because for a gene to be transcribed, it has to be kind of uncondensed or else you can't transcribe the gene. And so pretty much the major point that you should have probably got out of this video is that euchromatin is very important and contains genes that are useful while heterochromatin is not as important and so therefore heterochromatin is condensed during interphase while euchromatin is not condensed during interphase. And so lastly, I'll just mention up here, since this picture shows it, telomeres. And so these telomeres allow for the maintenance of the chromosome ends. And so in the next video, I'll go more into depth with it. But for now, you can just know that it's helpful for chromosome stability. And so thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.